box picking. You can start the bid. Have it. Right here. Come in. How are you doing? Tom James. Alex, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let me get you my business card. All right, have a seat. All right, that was about the last time. I'll see. Oh, I, I beat you to the punch. <laughs> How's your day going so far? Good, how about you? It's going pretty good. Uh, you know, you know week went by kind of slowly, but back at it. So. Yeah, okay, nice. All right, so, I mean, as you may know, I'm here based off of talking with your father. Right. And he said, be with you, see what I can help you out with. Right, yeah. Uh, for today. Um, I know you set aside 20 minutes for today. I'm mm -hmm. just making sure that we're still good for that 20 minutes and I don't want to you know, take up your time. I know it's valuable. Yeah. 20 minutes is good. All right, sounds good. Well, I'm going to start off just telling you a little bit about myself and our company. Okay. And then I'll get into asking a few questions about you. Okay. Is that all right? Sounds great. All right, well, I've only been for the company about nine weeks now. Okay. But already, uh, We've done a few things in training. I won an award for, we had a bunch of role play sales calls. Uh, I have oh, a few really? testimonials here from my past customers as well, just mm -hmm. talking about their experiences with me. Okay. I'll let you review. Um, our company was actually founded in 1966, and it's all about long-term relationships, and our orientation is really kind of treating our customers like a family. 80% mm -hmm. of our business is return business. Oh, wow. Okay. Just to you know, throw a number out there of we, right. we really want you guys or uh, just to love the experience. Sure. That's what it's all about. Okay. Uh, well, I know you just graduated from Harvard recently, and yeah. you're working uh, at Fulbright, and uh, I have a hard time pronouncing the, the second one name. Yeah. But uh, tell me about you, exactly. Tell me a little bit about your experiences with them. Uh, well, I graduated Harvard, and I just really wanted to get into environment. I'm very passionate about the environment, um, what, what um, you know, different impacts we can have by going more green, just pushing more bills and, and things through as far as Congress getting more you know, energy efficient and just how it affects the environment. So that's kind of what my passion has been. You just got to follow my passion. Exactly. What got you started with environmental? Like, what started the passion? Like, uh, I just, fire? you know, I, I care about um, the polar melting. Mm. You know, the, the ice caps. Yeah, absolutely. You ever seen like a picture of a polar bear, like exactly. just stuck and like skinny and he's can't get crying like, fish and all that? <laughs> yeah. It just really got to me. And so I'm like, we got to stop all this, uh, you know, fossil fuels. And yeah, all absolutely. That. And so I just don't want to see any more polar bears go down. Yeah. So, to me, <laughs> Go down with yeah, the ships. yeah, exactly, because they're starving out there. It's because of the polar ice melting. But environment, if we can be more um, energy efficient, hopefully that that can be a chain effect and exactly. save our save save our environment. And you can fight for them in the court instead exactly. of you know, instead of on the ice, ice actually punching ice some games. people. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Stop using. Gotta use my brains. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well. For today, I kind of set aside an agenda just because I know I want to value your time as much as I can. Sure. Uh, basically, what I want to do is ask you a few questions to understand your situation, mm -hmm. and then from there, I can kind of put together a little presentation that addresses your needs specifically. Okay. Uh, if you ask me questions, I'll ask you questions, mm -hmm. and if it's something that is going to be of value to you, then we can continue that, and if not, then we'll part ways. How does okay. that sound? That sounds great. Sounds good. All right. Well, I said a few questions about where you work and your opinion on mm -hmm. a lot of things, so that's what's most important here. Yeah, sure. Um, I know that from talking with your father, I heard that you're not too fond of going shopping for suits, uh, mm -hmm. going shopping in general. That's yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Could you tell me why? I just, uh, it takes forever. You know, it's like two to three hours every time I go shopping for a suit. Do you mind if I take notes? Sure, go for it. Okay. I just think the salespeople that just try to sell you things you really don't need just upsell you. Absolutely. All right. Um, I also heard that this is just what your father said. I could be completely wrong. Uh, he was just telling me about how you dress. Um, you don't see a need necessarily for a professional dress. Uh, can you maybe just elaborate on that for me? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm more out in the field. I just want to. I, I want my work to be the thing that like determines my rise within the company, not exactly. necessarily my what I wear. You know, my fashion. Uh, just let, let me know if I'm right. I'm just gonna restate this in a way mm -hmm. as I heard it. Basically, you want people to remember you for you. You want them to remember you for your ability to be able to be knowledgeable, mm -hmm. to be a good lawyer. Not necessarily just because you dress nice is what they right. like you. Yeah. All right, that makes complete sense, actually. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, how would you say the people in upper management dress? People that they're, um, you want to be? They're, you know, dress better than me, um, but they also have more money than me. You know, okay. they're, they're making more money. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're more professionally dressed. I just, I don't pay much attention to it, but I get some good natured ribbing from them about what I wear and, you know, they give me some, some, a hard time about it, but they're definitely typically more fashion, fashion forward. Okay. Um, do you ever see maybe a customer might lose trust from you or just not, maybe you have less high value or large clients as they do, maybe because of how you dress? No. No? I don't think that's been an issue. I think my work kind of speaks for itself, but I mean, at the end of the day, within it's more within the, the walls of our office. Mm -hmm. I, I know that my respect, you know, and, and getting promoted will require me to be a little better dressed. Okay, so you see that the problem would basically lie in, in order to get promoted and be recognized, they see that you're talented, but they also want you to dress professionally. Right. Okay, so you see if maybe you weren't to dress professionally, you just kind of continue where you are right now. Do you think that your ability to get promoted would be hindered in any way? I mean, I would hope not. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, I would hope my hard work is the, the thing that gets me promoted, but, you know, it never hurts. Okay. It never hurts to be dressed better. All right. And like I said, my dad gives me a real hard time about that. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to get rid of the shopping, with the whole shopping experience. Okay, yeah, uh, absolutely. All right, well, that's exactly why I'm here, Okay. actually. Perfect. So if I can show you a way to avoid the shopping experience and have you dressed maybe even better than the people that are in your office right now. That'd be great, yeah. And would that be something that interests you? For sure. All right, uh, I'll just give you a short little presentation mm -hmm. and just basically covers I mean, not too much. Um, do you have any questions on? Uh, cool. Do you have any questions for me before I get into this? It's probably like more. Uh, actually, I need to know if any other lawyers in our firm wear Tom James suits. Do you know if anybody else has Tom James? So I can kind of. I, I don't know about your firm specifically, but I actually do have testimonials from attorneys in here. So okay. I'll show you some of these. Okay. So we have. Right here is an attorney, Jason Rees. This mm -hmm. is a, a little thing that he wrote about us. We have an attorney here as well, mm -hmm. a lawyer here as well. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. All right. Do you have any questions on these? No, I just think you guys got a lot of lawyer, lawyer clients. Absolutely. Well, as you said earlier, uh, those are the ones with the money, those are the ones that need to yeah. look professional enough that people can trust them with their personal information. Right. Okay. All right. So, as I said before, we've been around since 1966. Uh, we're at the 80% return customers. Mm -hmm. We're I mean, on our website as well. We have everything about our story, our mission statement. We're all about quality. We're all about mm -hmm. just being there for service, it's it's all about the service for us. And as you were saying with the shopping experiences, we're here to eliminate that problem. Right. Uh, is that something that you'd want to do maybe today if we were to get something? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I need to know more about it. You know, like what's the price? How much does it cost? Okay. I mean, I've heard Tom James is really expensive. All right. Well, some of our things, we, we have a very large range. So do you have a budget that maybe we can work with? Uh, I typically spend two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars per suit okay. at uh, you know when I go shopping. So I don't know what the pricing is for it, but all right. Um, typically, when you go shopping, it's at a JCPenney or a 
Macy's or something like that. Really yeah. that mm-hmm. The bank, the Joseph A. Banks. Joseph A. Yeah. Banks, and then you get it tailored to you. Yeah, yeah buy one, they give me like six free. They <laughs> do these special ones. Yeah, really nice. yeah. have those. Um, well, we actually have value packages. I brought some pricing here with me. Uh, so mm-hmm. everything starts with the, these ranges for the different companies that we have. Mm-hmm. So anywhere from 600 all the way up to, we have almost $9,000 suits. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have different packages if you want to do things like that. That's interesting. Are you interested in doing just one type of suit or maybe a, a wardrobe? I don't know, what do you recommend? <clears throat> well, if right now you only have uh, a few suits that don't fit you too well, you might want to start with doing either uh, maybe two to three weeks worth of clothes, just so you can constantly be changing it out. Uh, you, you won't get ripped on as much at the office. Yeah. Uh, if it's something that you're not too sure about, we can start off with doing just, I mean, two suits, maybe one suit, just to see, so you can see how it feels, how it looks. Nice. How you like it? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, those pricing, it, it's really high. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I can just justify it spending three times the amount I pay for a suit just to start out. I mean, just on that one, it's $600. Okay. Um, well, right now, when you buy your suit, what problems do you run into when you have it? I just don't like to shop. I don't like to go. I mean, I spend three hours, you know, okay. and then, um, you know, I'm just the quality isn't going to be, you know, top notch, but, you know, just the experience more. I've got to spend more time being, like, working. You know, my job is my passion. Exactly. You know, that's what I care about. And then, you know, for me, I, it's kind of like a necessary evil to go and have to shop. You have to go to the place. You have to find a suit mm-hmm. that they might not even have the one that you like. And then mm-hmm. you have to get it tailored. You have to get it back. Yeah, I do like the convenience of what you guys do here. Okay. So the convenience adds value for mm-hmm. you. Um, I just uh, I can't have you come into my office interrupting business activities. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. It can be any place that's convenient for you. Okay, that's so us. You can come to my house if you need me to. I can okay. do that as well. Okay. Um, we can do the measurements some other time. I mean, there's no commitment that we have to make now, other than if you want to make another appointment. Yeah, I mean, my biggest thing would be is um, I know you know I need to do something to get my image and my brand. I, I'm, I'm you know. I need some more versatile clothing, but I just, right now, I just, uh, I can't quite stomach the price, so I think we just have to kind of set up maybe a follow-up meeting where I can, I can, uh, really kind of dig into the cost benefit of, like, how much, yeah. like, what does it, what does it mean? Like, if I spend 600, obviously, get what you pay for. What does that mean? Like, how do I, how do I dollarize how much it's worth it to do it? Okay. Um, I can help you maybe a little bit with that now, since we do have about seven minutes left, if that's okay, okay with you. Sure. Um, typically, when you buy suits now, how long are they lasting? I notice you were missing a button there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd say, like, you know, typically, like, three years, five to three to four years, maybe. Okay. Um, well, actually, in some of these testimonials, they were talking about the quality of the suits and how long they're lasting. Mm-hmm. We get our fabrics from these companies that are built on quality as well. So they're lasting a lot longer than some of the suits that maybe you buy one and you get six free, right. but it, how is the quality of the suit sure, when it comes right. to that? Yeah. And we're building them around you, so it's going to fit perfectly. Right. Yeah. And it's not something I have to go to the store and spend three hours doing, I'm coming to you. No, oh, yeah, I like that. So That's what I mean, like those are the type of things I just need to hear and understand, and then I think if we set up a, a follow-up meeting where I, uh, you know, we kind of really crunch the numbers okay. and maybe pick some out. I mean, what do you recommend for a suit? Like, what color? Like, what do you think I should have? All right. Um, I can bring, I'm out. we'll do measurements and I'll bring uh, all the different colors. I think if you're going to be a lawyer, you're going to want to do something like black. You, you want to have a white shirt underneath. Okay. Uh, blue underneath. You want a navy maybe mm-hmm. or some kind of dark gray like I'm wearing mm-hmm. now. Uh, they just okay. those are just power colors, and you sure. really want those, right. especially if you're power, gonna be in power court. color, power tie. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Gotcha. Okay. You can have some fun with the tie, and now you, have, you like to have your own unique style. Yeah, yeah. Um, Might as well get into it now, you know, seeing as though I'm spending all this money on it. <laughs> you were saying uh, you spend around three hours when you go to a store and you buy yeah. a suit. Mm-hmm. How much is three hours of your time worth? Well, I bill my um, I bill my uh, hours to you know people I work with, and it's about a hundred dollars an hour. About $100 an hour. 
So if I took the three hours and I turned it to 30 minutes of me just stopping by your house, doing mm -hmm. some measurements and helping you pick some stuff out in a way that's a lot more enjoyable, would that be more value and save that time that you could be spending that yeah, also? Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, those are the things that I need okay. to do. I'm just, I'm just clarifying that yeah, as well. Yeah. All right, so d would you like to set up an appointment? I can come back later this week or next week? Yeah, just not, at, not here. I prefer weekends, too, if we can not do okay, it. Weekends? I a weekday, but uh, like a Saturday. A Saturday looks good for me. Yeah, just at my house would be best. All right. So so then, 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 any uh, time work best for you? Uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. All right, 2 a.m. So that's perfect. All right, so I'll bring a bunch of different colors. Do you... Uh, I'll go for the power colors. Okay. Yeah. I'll go for what kind of colors do you like in ties? Uh, like red. Like reds. Dark red. Light red. Uh, all different types of reds. Yeah, all just the reds. reds. All right. Just power, power red. Power red. All right. Sounds good. Maybe some green in there. Since we're doing environmental. That's good. Yeah, you're right. I would like green. Can you get one with like a tree or like a recycle sign? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. Maybe a polar bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Like a maybe like a little button that has like a like a polar bear All right. button. <laughs> like a, whatever they put on here. One of those uh, the pins. Yeah, as well. a little pin. Yeah. You guys actually, sell those? Uh, I don't think we sell the pins, but we do actually do these suits that have writing on them. Okay. And then stitched in, and it looks as like as pinstripe, and you can actually get words on there. So oh wow, that's interesting. <laughs> go so green, I mean, save the polar bears. Those yeah, are more expensive that? though. All right, so yeah, that'll probably be out of my price range. Maybe instead of my name, I can I can get it to say like go green or go green to save the polar bears. Yeah. Um, is that too long of a? No, that should be. Within a that should be all right. Count. Um, what we should do though is probably get you fitted for yeah, something more within your price range and then okay. if you like it then we can always expand on that. Okay. I mean, Sounds good, man. I'm here for you. Any questions you have about dress? No. Or anything? Yeah, that's it. To me. Thank you, man. I appreciate right. Evan. So I'll see you. Thanks a lot, man. On Saturday at two in the morning. Yeah, that's that's when I get that stuff done. Alright, so good.